You said ID? Yeah. Yeah, I do tech reviews. So, yeah. Okay, we'll All right, thank you. So this is the Asus G14. It has RTX 4060 in it, which is kind of like the base model of the 40 series RTX, I believe. I know like the RTX 50 series are already out, but this was on sale for, I think, $11.99. And it just went on sale this morning. So I'll be doing like a full review of this and maybe make another video comparing it to my m3 pro macbook pro but i'm actually gonna be keeping this one because like i need a windows pc you know what i'm saying so yeah let's see what this laptop is talking about you know what i'm saying i have to go to class right now but after i come back from school i'm gonna do the unboxing and then like a full review so let's get it So while I was actually driving back home, I was actually thinking, what if I turn this into my developer laptop and my developer gaming and school laptop and my MacBook is just going to be focused on content creation because I'm currently working on a group project at school. So we basically have to build this app and stuff and everybody in the group uses a Windows laptop. So when they're setting things up, I'm only the one left out. I'll have to like go research on my own, how they did things and stuff, just to basically have the app running on my end, you know what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to make is, it's actually going to be a good idea to set this up as a developer laptop. And my primary reason is obviously to game and make videos, but I think it would be nice to be able to set this up for developers as well. So yeah, and by the way guys, this is actually the first Windows computer I'm going to be unboxing from scratch. Obviously my first laptop was actually a Windows laptop, but I actually bought it used. So this is going to be the first laptop that I'm going to be unboxing that's a Windows laptop. So I'm actually very, very excited. I think the box looks clean in my opinion. They have like a different style of unboxing. Ooh. There's a bunch of stuff in there. I'm guessing this is the laptop itself. Looks nice. Let's see. Bro, this, <laughs> this is the charger. That is big as hell. That's it. This is crazy to know that you need to carry something this big to be able to charge this gaming laptop. So this is a 180 watts power brick. And bro, hopefully this can also charge with USB-C because this is just so much. I didn't want to rip, mess up the box. Bro, why is this not coming off? Ooh. That looks clean. Damn. I like the design. I'm already a fan of the design. But this feels like a 13 inch laptop, except if I'm tripping. But oh, bro, I really do like the design. Let me see what else is in the box. I think that's everything that's in the box. Let's just put all that to the side. But well, honestly, bro, one thing that would be a deal breaker for me is if this laptop doesn't charge via USB-C because, bro, there's no way I'm carrying this big power brick with me everywhere. But yeah, let's boot this up, set it up. I think it's plastic or aluminum. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I like, bro, I like the entire design of this.
Alright, so as usual, the first thing to do with a new laptop is the setup. Now, I have got to say, setting up a Windows laptop took way more time than I expected. There were a bunch of updates and this thing had to restart like 4 times during the process. And apparently, the menu says you should charge it for about 3 hours before using it, which is kinda wild. So yeah, it took a couple hours to get everything up and running. I basically spent the rest of the day setting it up and installed all the games and softwares I use daily. So, this is the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 and it's powered by the AMD Ryzen 9 8000 series processor. Equipped with the Nvidia RTX 4060 graphics card, 16GB of unified memory and 1TB of internal SSD. Now I got this laptop for $1199 and for the specs it's a very good deal to me. My goal for this machine is to run software development projects, school related tasks and gaming. Now just based on specs it's powerful enough to handle what I have in mind and even more but I'm really excited to put it through a real world test. The build and design looks very eye catching. My specific unit right here comes in this platinum white color that looks kind of grey depending on the lighting. It has a matte texture to it and they claim it comes in this premium aluminum chassis but I'm not gonna lie it does feel like plastic to me. Regardless it's a very steady laptop that has a premium look to it, very presentable in public and people have actually been asking what kind of laptop is this when I have it in public. It's a 14 inch laptop that weighs only 3.3 pounds in this compact gaming design. On the back, along with the ASUS logo, it also has a slash lighting LED light that flashes, giving a slick gaming vibe to it. The keyboard layout looks minimal yet noticeable with a very clean font that looks sick. Has all the function buttons on the top without looking cluttered, whilst giving enough room for speakers on the side. It also comes with RGB backlit for those who are into RGB. I am really big on clean design when it comes to laptops which is why I love my MacBook so much. But I think I found the perfect replacement so this will be my main laptop from now on. One thing I always look forward to in a laptop is the port selections and the G14 does not disappoint. On the left side you get a dedicated charging port, a USB-C with power delivery and a transfer speed of 40GB per second, HDMI 2.1, an headphone jack and a USB-A port. On the right side there is another USB-C port, USB-A and a micro SD card slot. Now personally I am not a huge fan of the micro SD card slot, I would prefer the full sized one but hey it's better to have some kind of SD slot than none at all. Especially for creators like me. With these ports, I can easily connect enough accessories to maximize my workflow from transferring footage to connecting external displays. Now when opening the ASUS G14, the lid is very strong and sturdy so you can easily open it with one hand. Then you are greeted with Windows Hello via the 1080p webcam in front, making it easy to access your computer with Face ID and no text input. Once you are in, facing you is a 14 inch OLED display with a stunning 3K resolution at a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Now this turns out to be one of my favorite things about this laptop. It's very vibrant and punchy with amazing contrast. I don't know how I feel about the color accuracy though. It's a be inconsistent even though the images look sharp and clear, they just seem to be a bit oversaturated and unnatural. I say this because I come from the liquid retina display from the MacBook Pro which supposedly isn't as high quality as this one, but the MacBook images look way more natural and true to life. It might just be me but I guess I'm gonna have to get used to the more vibrant and saturated colors of the Asus Zephyrus G14. That being said, when it comes to gaming, the display absolutely shines. The graphics look insane and the gameplay is very smooth and responsive thanks to the 120Hz refresh rate. I would say this display is perfectly made for gaming or watching animated videos. The colors just feel richer on animations in my opinion, making gaming experience visually pleasing. I will dive into the gaming performance later in the video, but yeah, the display is definitely a highlight of this laptop. Yo, what's going on, yo, man? So it's currently the next day, and what time is it? It's like 11:06 right now or 09. Okay, so I actually spent the entire night setting this laptop up. So as you guys can see, this is my MacBook right here. Boom! I've not touched it, and honestly, I think it's a good laptop. So I'm on my way to school right now. That's why I'm running out of time. I actually plan to talk more about it this morning before running into other things I want to do but right now I'm going to be using the laptop as my daily just like I will use my MacBook so I'm going to school right now yesterday night I ended up like installing as many games as possible and I actually ended up playing last night but I didn't film anything but I'll get back to that when I come back from school but today 
I have I managed to charge the battery to like a full charge, so it's currently at 100 percent I'm going to be testing it out just like a regular usage, how long the battery is lasting, and I'm going to be installing like some software stuff for like software engineers and stuff because I'm a computer science student in college, so I need to like set it up for school and everything. So yeah, I'm not going to waste you guys this time too much. I'm on my way right now. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. So quickly, the Asus Zephyrus G14 seems very light and portable to fit in my bag, making it an hybrid laptop that I can use from anywhere. So I had to meet up with a classmate who is also a group member for a project I'm working on in our software engineering class. I needed help with setting up the programming environment, especially since this is a new laptop and I'm not used to Windows. Everyone else in the group uses Windows and I always slow the team down when using my MacBook because my setup is way different from the rest. Debugging code errors has been a pain, so I am honestly excited to be on the same system as the rest of the team. We spent time installing programming tools like Python and MySQL, libraries like the Django and pulling down the group's code base from GitHub. The group already created a database for the web app we are building, so I needed to make sure I had everything locally on my machine and integrated with the site. Sounds easy but I had no idea what was going on at first. Luckily my friend is here and with the help of ChatGPT, we got my new laptop fully ready for me to contribute before the project deadline. We wrapped up by my friend assigning me the interface I'll be working on and even during all that setup, the fan of the Asus Zephyrus G14 stayed quiet and didn't heat up which is super impressive. I've also been running fully on battery this whole time so I am definitely keeping my eye on how well it holds up. You already know what's going on. You already know what's going on. Bro, you yo, what up? You we can't fuck up, you. My boy. What happened? We finna um, we finna really watch Arsenal play today, you know? They really finna beat Real Madrid. Niggas don't know, but you I'm know here. That, you know Sacks, game winner. Right, Y'all see what I got on. To, you got heard on, it, you heard like, oh, yeah. drip check, drip check, drip check. Yeah. You see our boy got that shit on. Money. Okay. Man, oh, on the green okay. Himself, <laughs> you know me, I just got to check on nothing too. Tech. But got, look, this he got. Wait, really? Hold on, hold on. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. <laughs> look, look, look. Bro, money got, on bro, them got seven techs, bro. McQueen. First look. dude with purple tech. I know my boy okay. got the McQueen, bro. Okay. That's really okay. money on feet. I'm calling money. Five hundred dollars on the head, sweater, bro. Green, green sweater, green sweater, folks. Okay, okay, light. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all don't even know what he got. Y'all don't even know what he got. He does, bro. Hold on, hold on. Oh, easy, easy, easy. They don't even make Take it easy. Take, Take it easy, easy, my friend. Easy. Adidas. Take it easy. Yeah. It's just hot. It's just hot. Oh. Look, a thousand it came yeah, from Ninja. It came fine from Ninja. Fine boy. They be a fine boy. They say fine no. boy, be this. Um, you feel me? Hey, wait, y'all don't even know about my, my quiet homie right here. Okay. This is, this is drip check. Our light skin homie, the thermos of them all. Thermos of them all. Thermos of them all. So, after school, I pulled up to my friend's crib to chill for a bit. It's around 5pm at this time and I still have a few tasks to tackle before heading home. To be specific, I had to start scripting my experience with the ASUS G14 so far. Yep, this very video you're watching. But first, I had to connect to the home Wi-Fi for internet. The ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 is equipped with Wi-Fi 6E technology, which is designed to give a faster internet speed, low latency and more stable connections. Perfect for everything from cloud syncing to downloading project files without lag. Now moving on to scripting this video, let me just say. The built-in keyboard of this laptop is honestly one of the best I've ever seen on a laptop. And yes, I'm saying it, even better than the Magic Keyboard on the MacBook Pro. It has more key travel and each press feels tactile and satisfying. The layout feels very familiar if you are used to a Mac but the font and styling gives it a really unique look. Typing on this feels like using a mechanical keyboard. Think of it as the same satisfying feel but without all the loud clicking noise that can get annoying sometimes. I am calling this the do-it-all keyboard. It not only has a gaming vibe to it but also feels good to game with and if you're a programmer or someone who types a lot it's very easy on the hand with no cramp or constraint making workflow feel flawless now as for the trackpad it's actually smooth and responsive it's the same traditional trackpad you find in most windows laptop but with a bit of unique feel it's large flows nicely under my finger and it's super easy to use now it's not quite on the macbook level mainly because it's not an haptic simulated click trackpad like the ones on the mac but honestly
honestly no complaints here it works just like it should and i have gotten completely used to it so i spent some time scripting a portion of this video then jumped into working on my group project the machine was running perfectly builds were fast and i was bouncing between vs code chat gpt and github while i tried to debug some annoying errors i was coding for a good amount of time but eventually gave up because nothing was working through all that the asus rogue zephyrus g14 held up great no lag no overheating just smooth performance that is until i decided to fire up this game called defiant as soon as i launched the game the fans went into full blast the laptop got hot and the battery started to drain like crazy so by around 7 pm it actually died on me mid game and that's how i ended the day Starting a new day with the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 docked on my setup, ready to multitask while I work on my group project. Finally, I managed to fix the bug, thanks to this new AI powered code editor called Cursor. It can code and debug errors in seconds. So yeah, everything runs fine for now and I should be able to take on the project from here. Now what I really like about this laptop is how versatile it is to fit into every part of my day. It's portable enough to carry around for school and personal work, and when the workday comes to an end, it transforms into a full blown gaming machine. The performance when it comes to gaming is honestly interesting. To get a maximum performance, I have to keep it plugged using the 180 watt power brick. Now it actually does support USB-C charging, but that just won't push it enough for intense gaming. And when you finally get to launch games at full performance, the fans ramp up hard and the laptop gets hot, like I mean really hot. But surprisingly, gameplay stays smooth even at max settings with no noticeable lag. I have been playing FPS titles like Call of Duty, Valorant and Defiance, and I usually get around 80 to 120 fps depending on the game and settings the gpu climbs up to about 80 degrees celsius which is expected but still toasty the aluminum chassis gets hot to the touch especially around the keyboard so it gets uncomfortable to play games with the keyboard after a while it also starts to store more throttle to cool itself down which can slow both the gpu and cpu performance now honestly gameplay still feels smooth even when the performance starts to take a dip as long as i have the power adapter connected i could game for hours without any noticeable lag I just plug in the controller or use an external keyboard to avoid the heat. The best part is it cools down pretty quick once I log off games so I can jump right back into other tasks without any issues. The battery life is solid in my opinion. It could last a couple hours with productivity tasks like browsing the web and programming. Not as much as what I would get on the MacBook Pro but I think I can get more than 4-5 to five hours in one sitting which is still plenty enough. And if I ever need the extra juice I can use a USB-C charger just like the MacBook instead of the 180 watt power brick it comes with with, which is way more convenient in my opinion. Now I couldn't test video editing on this laptop since I primarily use Final Cut Pro which is only available on macOS. But honestly this laptop is still a great choice for all kinds of use cases from schoolwork to programming, gaming and everything in between. It's a solid all-round device.